think about Queensland, you think about our golden beaches, our epic surf breaks, our lush rainforests. But there's another side to this corner of the state. It's a landscape that's so unique, it even has its own microclimate. And in some winters, it even snows here. I'm here in the Granite Belt, a three hour drive southwest of Brisbane. Stanthorpe is the beating heart of this region and a great place to base yourself. My first stop is the Girraween National Park where there are loads of hikes to choose from. I'm taking a gentle pace 1.6 kilometre circuit to check out one of the park's most popular sites, the Granite Arch. You can't help but think about your place in the world's timeline when you're standing under this massive natural granite boulder archway that is millions of years old, shot out by a volcano, I don't even know where, but at the same time, it just leaves you in awe at how much Mother Nature is and always will be the greatest artist. It's insane. Sitting at a thousand metres above sea level, the Granite Belt's cool climate offers perfect farming conditions. In fact, 90% of Queensland's apples are grown right here. Now, Australia likes to celebrate its man-made big landmarks. Now we've got the big banana, the big prawn, the big pineapple, the big koala. Now I can say that would be the Australia's version of the big apple, hey? I'll show myself out. The Sutton Juice Factory, Cidery and Cafe is a Stanthorpe icon and home of Ros and David Sutton's famous apple pies. I gotta say that when I first came in here, I got bombarded with this smell that is just like a mixture of the best home cooking smell ever and also something that I can only describe as like a warm cuddle to the senses. It, <laughs> it is just amazing and I don't feel like I ever want to leave. I guess it's just an old fashioned recipe. It's made so, with love. Absolutely, and it's a good old fashioned pastry. This is just normal short crust pastry that your grandmother probably made. So I've been making it for a long time. We actually cook the apples freshly we put a little bit of lemon and a little bit of spice and a bit of sugar in it, but not very much. Keep it natural. And that's all it is. Old fashioned pastry, just freshly cooked apples. The Suttons also produce the finest apple juices, cider and even apple butter. But I have my eye on the prize. What you see here is Ros Sutton's famous homemade apple pie paired with their on-site made to order apple cider ice cream, apple syrup, on some whipped cream. You put all those things together, and you've got one happy Lincoln. Mm. This region is absolutely stacked with accommodation options, but my pick is a Lewis Stanthorpe and its five-star African safari tent. As Aussies, we all know and love camping, and we're even getting a finer taste for glamping, but where I am right now, I don't even have a name for, but I'm gonna call it next level glamping. And it starts with a massive king-size four-poster bed added with curtains in case you want that little extra privacy. But come with me because everywhere I stay, I always want to check out the bathroom. And in next level glamping, you have two sinks, a massive shower. Next to the toilet, you have a heated towel rack in case those nights get a little extra cold. But come with me because past the massive king size bed, don't bump your head on the chandelier, sit by the fireplace, watch a massive TV, or just come through here to the kitchen, fitted with its own laundry, granite stone bench tops, your own coffee machine, and a welcome hamper full of local products. But my favorite bit, come out here. I want to show you this. Now here in the granite belt, they get minimal light pollution. And I love, I love a heated spa at the best of times. But out here, a clear night under the stars with minimal light pollution, I cannot recommend this more. I just reckon drinking your hand at nighttime, checking out the stars, what more could you want?